everyone, welcome to another RGM Garage episode and today we'll be working on the mighty Hayabusa. So the goal for today will be to fit this rear foot pegs, fill-in foot pegs onto the Hayabusa. So before I get on to that, I want to give you a quick update on the state of the bike. So quick update time, I have mounted everything back onto the bike, I've been playing about over the past week off camera, but um, I have put the nose cone back on the bike and have unbent uh, this mounting location was low and pushed that way, that's where I had the crash, uh, first impact was right in here, so you can see fairing is cracked in there um, so I unbent that slightly allowing it to slide better and you can see that uh, the, the gaps between the fairings are much better than what it was before so it will fit much better but still needs a little bit of tweaking and also I have installed this uh, brake reservoir pipes uh, well brake and clutch reservoir pipes is what they use on MotoGP and stuff that's all they use is a little piece of pipe with enough fluid to last one race uh, for the wear of the pads um, it's just held on with zip ties at the moment so I could uh, bleed the systems clutch and front brake is also bled Um, also, carry on our way back, I've finalized the wiring, so uh, that's it, it's all finalized in its correct location, isolated and going through its correct route. Um, also, I finally bought the battery after a lot, a lot of research having to find a battery that's small enough to fit in the space that I want to and be powerful enough to crank this 1300cc engine so this is what I gone for a lithium ion battery they're very light, very compact, very small um, and I went for a Shido LTZ8V so I'll post more uh, information on about this battery down in the link below and um, this is where the battery mounts and you can see just how small it is to fit in there uh, but it's all connected um, it's all routed properly this will be his last location uh, for sure it's not gonna move from here um, also want to put a seat on the bike Uh, the bike the, the battery won't move so just like so um, so that's that so also add a little play around with the fairing or the under tray and this is what I came up with basically just bend it up hit it with a heat gun and um, this is the look I'm going for so completely clean underneath um, and plenty of space for activities maybe in the future um, also fitted the same brake reservoir pipe on the rear brake as well as the original Hayabusa foot pegs on both sides this is the look that I have at the moment so now on to what we are going to do today 
Here are the pegs I'm going to install. Uh, just as are the same pegs that are on the GSXR 1000 outside. Exactly the same. I like the look. I like the curve that the pegs do. So it's what I like. You might not like it, but it's a question of preference. So one thing I will have to do is chop this bit, which is the exhaust hanger or where the exhaust will mount or the hand cans will mount. The reason for that is symmetry. So as you see, one has the mount, the other one hasn't. So I will come up with an idea for this. And uh, the way they're gonna mount or the way it's going to mount is right there. So I took a bit of measurements of the other bike um, and I, I think the best location will be somewhere around here. So then I will fabricate a bracket that will come from the back of the peg and will attach to the um, silencers and cans. So for that, for to fabricate them, first of all fabricate the mounts where this will mount onto the subframe. I've managed to get a piece of steel, thick steel, and this will be what I'm using to fabricate the mounts to weld into the subframe. So all I'm gonna do is cut a few brackets, uh, well, clean it up, cut a few brackets and fit it to the bike. Um, well, make the measurements, make sure it's all correct, straight, um, and all fits well and a good symmetry between the two of them and weld it onto the subframe. First things first, I'm going to remove um, the exhausts of the bike to give me a bit more room to play with. Just out of curiosity, let's try to start the bike without uh, silencers, see how loud it is. So that is now with the cans. I want a piece of metal that will have a good contact patch with this. So grab myself a 21mm socket and is if not perfect almost or just slightly over the size of this uh, mounting point and that just creates a good a good contact patch with this area so it will be a, a strong mount. So what I want to do is two little mounts per uh, peg. So this, there'll be two little ears coming out of the foot peg of the subframe mounting onto the foot pegs. So I'll grab my socket. I'll place it on a piece of metal. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a little tiny bit of space for the top so that when I weld it to the subframe, the welds will not interfere with the fitting of the foot pegs.
All right, so now that I have four identical slugs, um, they not perfectly the same sizes as you can see, but they're very close. The next thing I done was lay the uh, socket that is touching the bottom and both sides. And I found the center and I marked one of the slugs. So I center punched one of the slugs. I got my measurements of it. I marked on one, took the measurements and passed it on to the other three. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill a small hole through the four of them and I'm gonna put a, a bolt and nut through and then I'm gonna make him uh, the same. So I will mark the corners on one of them. So the corners I'm going to cut is only on one of the on one of the sides so I'll go around this side and this side and this will be straight up on both sides and a straight up top so that then I can once I have it rounded I can just place it in there like so and I can weld this straight edge onto the subframe Alright, so now I have four identical sized slugs or well brackets, whatever you want to call it. What I'm going to do next is place the socket on top of them, line it up like so and I will mark there and there which I already did on this side I will try to do it a bit deeper a bit more neater so they can see it and then with the angle grinder I'll cut a bit of this side and a bit of that side Alright, so now that I have the four brackets cut and shaped and they're really drilled to 6 mil, I'm just gonna work myself up with uh, enlarging the hole onto 7 mil. I've measured these bolts and they are basically 8 mm thick. Although, if you measure them, the inside threads so you put the calipers inside the thread, just like so, and yeah, it's broken, but you can still see in there. It is seven mils. So what I'm going to do, it's work my way up the drills until I get to seven mil. brackets made and look at this um, quite proud of it <laughs> looks good so now that the brackets are made uh, I've decided that they're gonna weld around there like so so next thing I want to do before welding anything in a vehicle you need to unconnect the battery I 
find this area where I'm going to weld. The goal of today was to fit the foot pegs onto the bike and there they are. Um, the welds are okay, getting better. The more I practice, the, the better I'll get at it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, give us a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and press the bell, all of that shenanigans um, and let me just say we're reaching 100 subscribers I'm so happy um, thank you very much for everyone that subscribes to the videos and they watch watch them and um, on next video I'm going to make some brackets to uh, fix the exhausts onto the actual foot pegs um, and maybe start working onto fiberglass this um, rear subframe and make it as a uh, one piece so stay tuned take it easy ride safe and i'll see you next time